Good morning, everybody. Uh, so, this is the last hurrah. I've not shot a buck. We have 11 days to get it done. I am hunting every day for these 11 days. These deer have been chasing this past week, so we're hoping that they're still chasing. It's gonna be a little warm today for the first day, but tomorrow on the DeerCast app shows like super great condition. So uh, hopefully we can get one down real soon or, or get four. Four would be real nice. But it is the last hurrah. So hope you guys enjoy. It's archery only right now. It's late archery muzzleloader, but I'm going to be archery hunting. I don't own a muzzleloader. So uh, that's how it's going to be happening. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get to the tree stand. What's up? Good morning, everybody. This is day one of 11. We're doing 11 days straight on line. And this is the last raw out here in Florida. And uh, I'm in a weird spot where I got some thick trees behind me. It's a little glaring. I'm in like this little pod of thickness. And then there's planted pines, but the road's like only 80 yards right there. So we are up in our second second setup. It's 12:23, and uh, this is where I shot the doe early season. I'm hoping maybe a buck will slip by. There's a lot of food source still left in here, green briar all over the place. So I'm hoping that they come through, but we'll we'll see. Right, we are in day two. Not much yesterday. Literally didn't see a single thing. This morning we got a strong wind over 10 mile an hour north by northwest and it's cold like 41 degrees. Feels good this morning. Before daylight I had some bobcats fighting down in this creek and I'm up on the hill where I had good luck last year. And we're gonna sit here this morning see what happens and uh, maybe move on out and check the area different spots because they're kind of chasing off and on some guys said they seen them chasing yesterday but we're gonna find out because today's like a perfect morning so let's see if we can get one what's up everybody it's like 11 a.m i am up in my second spot this is a spot we scouted not too long ago and there was some rubs up in here but we're thinking that the rut is over in this spot. So we're, we don't know yet. We're still trying to debate on making a judgment call and jump in archery areas, but, but we're trying to just get an eyeball on the box and see what they're doing. I seen a couple on the road passing, but they weren't chasing those or behind those. They were just by themselves. So I have no clue what's going on. If last year, the rut was like now We'll see. We'll see if maybe we'll get lucky. And one's still chasing. And we need this one hot doe to come by. The wind is, it's kind of perfect. Tomorrow the wind's awful, so I can't set here tomorrow. So, gotta come up with a game plan for tomorrow. So, hopefully uh, I can get one. If not, I will see you day three. Alright, quick update. 
I just had a deer across the creek below, but my wife's not going that direction. And Danny had three bucks go by him today. Um, two of them were shooters, but out of range. And he said he had a, something blowing at him. So I'm thinking that doe is blowing at those bucks, and those bucks are running. They're not quite chasing, chasing yet, but they're looking for them. So, uh, and then these three turkeys are all over me. Every time I made a doe call and they come in like fast and hard and scared scared me. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna move up halfway up the hill. That's where Danny said they're running. I'm guessing scent checking this bottom. So I'm gonna go halfway up the hill for this evening and see if we can shoot one. <laughs> so I moved on. I'm on the same creek. I moved over toward Danny. There's only one tree I could climb was this oak. So I'm, I can only get like two sticks high. So right now, right now I am two sticks high. And in a pretty good spot. I'm hoping they come parallel to that creek and not straight down at me. If they come straight down at me, it might be eye to eye. But what if they do the same thing they did this morning? It'll, it'll be perfect. I'll be set up for a good shot, easy shot. So hopefully I can get one. And then let's get to it. It's like almost two o'clock.
don't even know what distance. I just put the 20 yard pin on him and I shot. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was like the worst angle. He came on the right side, like behind my backpack. So I'll show you guys. Shot with a bow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the same, not the same broadhead, but the same arrow I shot that dog with. Because it's my second one. And I'm getting hyped up because I know it's a good shot, but I'm scared. It could not be a good shot. This is the emotional roller coaster of bow hunting, I guess. Cause I'm like, I, I hit him, I seen him turn, I seen the arrow sticking out of his front shoulder. But, and he just, he didn't really run, he kind of hopped and walked off. Like, I don't, I think he's dead somewhere. He's gotta be, I didn't hear him fall, I just heard him over there. And I don't want to bump him, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down and, and see if I can find him real quick. And then get back up. Good blood and there's bubbles. There's bubbles in it. Oh my goodness, it's like a red pocket. I didn't I didn't hear him I didn't hear him go down, so I'm gonna get back up in the tree and wait for Danny. <laughs> Valentine's Day to myself, I guess, but uh, I'm excited. My very first buck with the bow, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. And he's actually one of my bigger bucks I've ever shot. He's not as big as the six I shot last year, but he's got more points. He's uh, and we got a long drag, so it's gonna be fun. But it made it happen on day three. Let's continue this joy ride of 11 days straight and see if we can make it happen again. Or at least Danny can make it happen again. Cause I got three more spots and Danny's got three more spots. So let's go. Good blood trail. He went back the way he came and then I went over the notch and then I, I lost hearing. I couldn't hear him anymore. Okay, we lose the up there some. Nanny's my blood dog now. Since I've been his. He's got good blood. Huh? He's got good blood. 
Yeah, here's blood here. There's some blood. Oh yeah, there's salt or something. Oh. There's some blood. Oh goodness. Some blood. There he is right there, Matt. Dude, oh my goodness! He didn't go like what? 40 yards probably? <laughs> He's like right there, he didn't go 40 yards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a freaking shot. Oh my goodness. And I didn't like aim, like I aimed, but I didn't give myself a lot of time. And I I practiced like that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he ain't a he ain't a giant. Oh, he got stuck. He's stuck under that tree limb. <laughs> he ain't a giant, but I don't care. It's my first buck. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Woo! Does he have a horn left side? Yeah. It's buried. Damn. He he, he, hit he hit the ground so hard it stopped. That's why I didn't hear roll or anything. I'm gonna have to like dig him out of the. Look, I'm gonna have to like dig him out of the ground. He hit so hard. Damn man. That's yeah, nice. that's the slide I seen, and I was like, he's only a six. Dang it. And when he turned, and I seen that little beep beep, I said, nope, he dead. That's nice. Oh my goodness. Nice. He's not as big as my six point I shot last year, but whoo. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at him glands. You got pee on them still. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at oh Danny. You almost did you hit I him? I almost this side? missed. Huh? Did you hit him on this side? Yeah. That's like freaking heart shot. Heart. Yeah. I told you I put it on it was he was probably 30 then. Because I put it on the 20 and just shot. <laughs> and it was uphill, so it was probably like 30. Awesome. What a shot. That is, oh my goodness. That is awesome. All right, let's get him to the truck. <laughs> uh oh, I think it's on. Uh, no, it's recording. All right, I stab him. Matt drag him. Not this time, though. Matt stab him. Matt drag him. <laughs> uh oh. Not to we get up here and then I'll help you. Oh, man. This is a rough drag. Those people don't have no clue that are watching the video. No clue. Let's okay, go readjust it here. Matt. I'm gonna readjust it. Alright, what's up guys? I am on my way to Danny's. We're gonna get this deer uh, skinned and quartered out and on some ice and back at it tomorrow. But I kind of wanted to just do a recap because that was probably a crazy it was a crazy situation the whole day has been kind of crazy between me and danny's day but it's it was I, hogs came in and i was gonna take a shot and it deflected high just over her back like just over and then i get down out of my stand which i probably shouldn't have done go over there find my arrow pretty quick get back up the stand load the arrow in the bow and as soon as i do that a buck the buck comes out i'm talking about like comes out i just have enough time to hit my gopro and i see him and i'm like oh it's just a six because i only could see that left side real good and uh, i was like it's only just a six he came within four yards and i could do the brush and he smelt me and uh and he he didn't know what to do it looked like and so he turned around and was going back up the hill out of away from the creek and that's when when he turned i seen that his right side had four points and where i hunt you have to have at least four on one side to be legal so i i seen it and then i had to put my phone up and because i made sure the gopro was filming earlier so i hope i got all that footage i had to put my phone up grab my bow and saddle hunters will know that you have to go, I had to go up and over around the tree without hitting anything. And I'm in some thick cover. I'm only two sticks high. I'm not even very high at all. And I would get it over draw. And I, I kind of remembered where I, the yardage was, but I don't remember exactly. So he looked like he was 20 yards, like he was close. So I put the 20 yard pin, mid, like mid chest and the lungs released. I heard a nice popping noise. I knew I nailed him and I was good to go. I was super excited. Well, I was a little too excited, I think, because I actually didn't hit him where I was aiming, but it looked like I did, arrows and everything. But, um, and I could have swore, 
when he turned it was sticking out but apparently I had a clean pass through so I must have been blood squirting out or something because there was blood everywhere I hit him right directly in the heart like perfect shot in the heart he only made it like 40 yards we were following the blood trail and Danny's just like well there's a deer right there we didn't have to go very far at all um, but the drag out was horrible because the only way to get in and out of there without spooking deer is literally to go straight through the middle of their bedding which I call their bedding Danny doesn't believe they're bedding in there but it's some pretty thick high grass stuff and nasty but we wanted to stay off the edge of the woods so if they walk down that boundary line they won't smell us so we're go we're dragging this deer through this thick stuff and it was probably the worst drag ever it sucks so bad but we got it to the truck is in the back of the truck and i'm headed to danny's now stuck in traffic five o'clock traffic so it's pretty this is this sucks <laughs> but i'll make it about to hit the interstate so congrats to myself i'm so i'm just i'm excited super super excited first buck with the bow like ever i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna end this one here and start day four up on a new video i wanted to do every day and all in the one but it's going to be too long and boring so we're going to split this up day one two not much of anything day three was a cluster and we got it done so thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that like and subscribe and if you haven't i've been listening to some guys podcasts They're called southern public podcast check them out they're pretty funny to listen to so talking about hunting all day so check them out and just a little shout out because they've been really nice and helping me they kind of hunt the same area i do so they've been in been close close if i need them so they've been really nice and helpful so check them out guys and until next time see you later